what is up YouTube so I received a comment from a troll on Etsy who said they were gonna sue me because I did not just did not disclose certain information about my product on Etsy well the thing they accused it of being when it wasn't that thing they accused it of and now they're saying they're gonna get a lawyer because there were splinters and just a really dumb comment it started off basically saying how does it feel to know you're never gonna get laid again and then you paint wands like a person at camp oh they didn't say it like that they said paint sticks and I thought that comment was so cute I'm like first of all if the lawyer does see that and they examine the site and see that it's not meant for what you're accusing it of being and then getting you know what I'm saying because I didn't just dis fully disclose that it's not used for a certain certain way and that's the best way to put it without being too uh, graphic or you know alluded to not too alluded to what what uh, what they said but you get the picture the dude bought it for his girlfriend Bro, real talk, I've had fans who buy my wands for their other half because their other half is the biggest fan. And they'll leave five star ratings and be like, their other half watches my videos and they love having an official wand. They feel cool about it so I'm like there you go so instead of focusing on that negative bullshit comment that I got I seen a comment on my Etsy from someone who bought one of the staffs and they said I hope I can get this staff just wanted to show my support for you man uh, keep your head up that's what's up you know and you can choose to focus on the people who talk down to you or treat you like you're stupid or troll you what good does it do to focus on that I focus on the people who support me on YouTube, you know? And the more supporters I get, the more jealous these assholes get, and the more jealous my trolls get, the more desperate they get to troll me, and it's just fucking beyond sad. I read the bullshit comment that someone sent me on Etsy and laughed at it. And then I saw the comment that was supporting me and I was like, yeah, there you go. The nice thing about having Cobracraft wands is that if they go to harass me, they're directly harassing me and not doing it to someone else to waste someone else's time. And right now I'm sitting at 17,000 plus subscribers and apparently I'm no longer allowed to monetize on YouTube because my channel's been flagged as hateful content. But when you make a video complaining about someone else being ignorant and hateful and then your channel gets flagged for being a hateful channel, this is where YouTube has a problem with the way they do shit. They have a robot that does all the checks for like flagging and bullying flags and stuff like that. Rather than an actual team of people. And having an actual team of people go in and deal with it versus doing it with robots is a pain in the neck. But the way I see it, if you can afford to give YouTubers millions of dollars so they can flash their Lamborghinis, you 
you should be able to afford a, a staff of people for like eight to nine hours a day, seven to six days a week. You know, you go in, and you want to do flags, a video for it being inappropriate, or they flag someone for bullying them. You have a, a team of experts that goes over the guidelines and then makes a judgment. But what happens if the person isn't isn't a fan of your YouTube? You know, that's another thing. Which that hasn't been my case, thankfully enough, just yet. That's how I was able to get my channel back on, even though I thought I was going to be banned until like November. But one of my fans works for YouTube, and I'm like, that's pretty sick. Yeah. I'm not going to disclose how much money I made off the batch of wands, but I made enough to get them shipped and have a little bit of spending money, so... I was doing a spot of laundry when I seen the comments that people sent me on Etsy. A lot of people will send me messages on Etsy like, can you do a custom personalized wand? I'm like, eh, what you see is what you get. Get them while you can because they sell quick. They do. I could spend like two weeks making wands just to sell out in like two hours, you know? That's usually how it's been going the last two batches. And, uh, you know, my trolls are going to be so jealous. And that's just it. The more jealous they get, the more desperate they get. So they send me some bullshit complaint on my business. And I'm like... <laughs> and the trolls keep messing with you. Eventually, you're just like, well, I know what I can do about this. And... I took care of it. We ever did that. And the thing about the comments saying, how does it feel to know you're never going to get laid again? Because the idea of making wands, oh my god, it's so nerdy. <laughs> Here's the thing if it's slick. If I'm at a bar and there's a Harry Potter chick next to me who sees me pull out a wand and she's like super into sci-fi and stuff like that, she's going to think it's cool. But there are chicks out there who are into Harry Potter. You just gotta look for them. And if they see you carrying a wand in your pocket, they're gonna be like, dude, that's badass. Where'd you get that? Oh, I make them. Well, you make wands? Yep. And then she'll be like going off about how she likes Harry Potter and that's so cool, you know what I'm saying, kind of thing. So really, I find the comment to be quite crass, to be honest. I'm just like, you know... I'm with almost 30 year old autistic young adult and I found a way to make an honest living. And that to me just screams jealousy, man. I didn't even respond to the comment on Etsy, I just deleted it. If I'm contacted by a lawyer about some of this shit and I know how to respond to it calmly and professionally and I guarantee you it'll get dropped because people are going to be on my side 100% because two things. One, I have Asperger's. Two, I'm about to go in for fucking eye surgery. Are you kidding me? So I'll just like, of all the things, dude, and I'm not going to let these trolls stress me out anymore. I just said, you know what? I'll take care of it tonight. And I already took care of it. If I 
gotta summon a demon to haunt my internet bullies, so much it be. Bust out the Ouija board and be like, oops. Now, when you're summoning demons through an Ouija board, it's a mutual respect. You can't just be like, oh, hey, look at me, you know. You have to understand that this is like playing with a poisonous snake. If you're not careful, it'll bite you in the ass, you know what I'm saying? You know. have to respect any deific force that you work with, whether it be, well, anything really, you know. You know, and as somebody who practices the occult, you think to yourself, he also offers wands for sale? Well, They're like the wand replicas cost more, but the handmade ones cost a couple bucks less. It's ridiculous, YouTube. The people try this hard. I mean, there's literally a subreddit dedicated to hating me. But a lot of my fans will go on there and defend me, and I appreciate that. You don't have to, but... Eh. I pretty much ignore the subreddit for, a most, for the most part. But then I think to myself, whenever I feel bad about my circumstances, I go to the subreddit and I'm like, that's pretty much everything wrong with our society. Let's make a page dedicated to hating someone. <laughs> now, there are celebrities I dislike, but I'm not gonna waste my time creating an entire subreddit hating them. That's just a waste of my time and energy. I really focus that on my own endeavors and supporting the celebrities I do like. So to me, it just seems like a waste of time, but what do I know? Showing out in some sports shorts and a t-shirt. The weather is mighty fine. Right now I'm drinking uh, water at the moment because I have surgery coming up. After a certain point, I can't drink any more water.
doing a spot of laundry and I see these hate comments that I get on my Etsy. And these hate comments are simply spawned from jealousy tubes. <laughs> they really are. And honestly, I get a kick of, out of how desperate the trolls get. I really do. So I'm pretty much at this point, after being harassed, you know, for years on YouTube, you learn to develop a thick skin for it, so to speak. And, um, and when you see that YouTube really doesn't give a shit about the bullying until it gets to a certain point you either learn to say you know what that's part of the algorithm that's part of trying to get the hustle on YouTube going so you just you yourself have the power to block these people so people think oh they're so clever for leaving nasty negative comments and it's like I make a game out of it you know Ooh, that comment crossed the line, delete, block, that comment was stupid, remove, the control's in my hands, you know, I can block them as fast as they can dish them out. people have that much time on their hands where they can sit there and make a whole subreddit dedicated to hating someone you know that's that's pretty pathetic dude to be honest I'm just saying I think to myself you know what I feel sorry for my trolls I really do